The Eggman Empire proudly presents The Eggman Revolution! Coming to the Carson Event Center on June 30th, 2024. We will have special guests such as Ryan Drummond, Pete Capella, Jay Axer, Belina Productions, Mike Pollock, Tracy Yardley, Evan Stanley, Jason Griffith, Victor McKnight, Emmy Jones, Min Ho Kim, Adam Bryce Thomas, Ryan Bartley, Lee Majdu, Gigi Dutri, and Daniel Barnes. Artists and content creators will also be there, as well as vendors to sell you all your needs to serve the Eggman Empire. So buy your tickets today! Be destroyed! You did a delightful job editing that ad, Sage! Thank you, Father. I have calculated the highest success rate for the advertisement to reach the widest audience. Very good! Make sure the ad is distributed immediately. Yes, Father. Now then, Orvant, let's go over the results of the Kickstarter. Oh, absolutely, boss. We've been able to raise over $16,000 and have acquired many special guests for the event. Father, please forgive the interruption, but I have Dr. Starline on communications requesting to speak with you. Dr. Starline, I will admit the question of whether or not to be surprised by your correspondence currently is foremost in my mind. Well, what can I say, Doctor? Who could resist such a tempting offer that you have provided for the rest of us? Quite! And since I already know what you can provide for the Empire, I shouldn't have to question what it is you can do. Just keep your double-crossing schemes from interfering with my plans for this convention. Oh, I wouldn't dream of it, sir. I truly admire the level of vision you have for this event. Yes, 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 you're on the team. Now start preparing your list of what you can bring to the table, and we'll discuss in our next meeting. Oh, yes, sir. I won't let you down. I didn't think I'd feel so embarrassed for you, but here we are. What kind of bootlicking did I just watch there? I believe the word you're looking for, Serge, is acting. If we want to get in on this convention, we have to appeal to the Doctor's ego, his hubris. I'm not interested in making him laugh, Doc. I just want a shot at burning the whole thing to the ground. What? Uh, not humorous, I said hu- Ah, never mind. The point is, we need to get on the Doctor's good side if we expect to show him up. I'm going to prove that I got what it takes to surpass him as the greater genius once and for all. Yeah, if he doesn't kill ya. Again. Oh, I'm sorry, were you saying something? No. That's what I thought. Don't you have some group to infiltrate right now or something? Better get along before you are missed. Yes. Perhaps I better. Uh, are you okay, Serge? Of course I'm not okay. I hate the fact that we gotta suck up to him. I've been feeling everything but fine. I wanna fry him so badly, but we can't. So, what do we do? Wreck everything that gets in our way of getting free of that idiot. So then, a convention for the rogues gallery, eh? Sounds like quite a profitable venture if we play our cards right. So what you got in mind, boss? Yeah, what kind of thing can we go steal from there? Patience, boys. 
This kind of thing requires extensive planning. Ah, Dr. Eggman. Thank you for taking my call. I don't suppose this is a call to tell me you plan on returning all my property that you've stolen? I believe the term you're looking for is salvage. But truly, I'm calling you to make a business proposition regarding your convention. Okay, I'm listening. Well, yeah, but what can we do? Hmm, Tails has said he's been talking with Shane. And she's planning on meeting with us to figure out how to stop this. Cool! When's the meeting? Uh, don't know yet. But we'll find out soon. Good. The sooner we can get together, the sooner we can put a stop to Eggman and his plans. Hmm, agreed. Well, Jewel wanted me to take care of a few things, so I better get to them. And where have you two been? Unfortunately, we got our own problems to deal with. We're here now, ain't we? Well, if you had been here sooner, you'd know about Eggman stealing the convention. From Shane, yeah, yeah, all news. Everyone knows that now. Then you know that she's planning to meet with the others to try and take back the convention. <laughs> that ain't no surprise. I think everyone's gonna try and take over that thing one way or another. Yeah, we know Starline is trying to- Shut it, Drippy! Ah, so that's where you've been. After all this, you're back to working for the good, Doctor. Not by choice. But that ain't none of your business. Oh, come on now. I believe we're all on the same side. One must assume you have heard the news. And then some. I've managed to cut a deal with the doctor to vend within his little convention. Then you'll be interested to know that the Restoration are making plans to taking back the convention. And amongst the confusion, things are liable to go missing. And give it up, loser! You can't beat us! We're gonna get that treasure first, and leave you in the dust! <laughs> hey, pay attention! We're gonna run into- A trap. Yeah? Well, you may be fast, mates, but you're pretty lousy treasure hunters to trip such a simple trick! I know lizards who are less clumsy than you lot! Have fun escaping that while I go enjoy my treasure. See ya! <laughs> Storm! Get us out of this thing now! Uh, right, boss. Sorry, 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 boss. Oh. All right, quit fooling around. We need to catch up to that Jemmercoma before he gets our treasure. Get away from our treasure! Too late, losers! This treasure is all... Mine? Hey, that's no treasure. That's one of Eggman's motobugs. Eggman took our treasure? Ah! Hey, what's the big deal here, Picnic? Where's my treasure? You mean our treasure? I was here first! Uh, would both of you shut up? That motobug has some kind of flyer attached to it. Give me that! Dear famous treasure hunters, Babylon Rogues, and Fang the Hunter. I, the great genius Dr. Eggman, predicted you lot would be here. Yeah, 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 Dr. Ego, get to the point! I get a load of this. This isn't the end. Let me see that! I am holding a convention featuring the best of the best. 
Oh, this is about that stupid convention of his he was advertising last month. You lot are invited to attend the convention as one of my guests. You'll be compensated with 2,000 rings each? A chance to win a Chaos Emerald? Oh, baby! What? Give me this! This can't be for real. Well, if you don't want those rings, I'll just take them when we go to the convention. What? We're really doing this? All right! Free rings! Not to mention a Chaos Emerald. Not before I get it. <laughs> hey, where are you boys going? The convention is until the end of June! Ugh, idiots. This floor plan is inefficient, Orbot. Mike Pollock is supposed to have a place of honor above all others. Not sitting among those other hedgehog-speaking VAs. But sir, this layout is the most practical, according to my projections. Father, I am receiving a communication on the multiphasic spectrum, directed to you. Eh? Let's hear it. Accessing. Ah, hey man, my loathsome ancestor. We must speak at once. Dr. Nega, my sorry excuse of a descendant. What could you possibly want? <laughs> now, now, Eggman. You did put out that little invite for the whole multiverse to answer, did you not? The invitation was for those who wished to further the goals of the Eggman Empire, not ruin its reputation. Eggman, you should know by now that your present is my future. If you can build yourself an empire that doesn't embarrass the family name, then I might consider working with you. You would! He, he would? would? Dr. Nega's consideration is highly improbable, according to my data. But not impossible! No, no. I would consider a truce with you if it means the legacy of genius can be restored! It was never sullied to begin with! What can you possibly do to contribute? <laughs> I can open a portal and recruit others from other universes to join your convention. Such as? Oh, Skirt! <laughs> Come to Rosie! I only want to smash uh, you to pieces! Uh, 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 you crazy chick! Go find something else to smash! Oh, but Scourgey, you're all alone ever since Fiona abandoned you! Now it's my turn! <laughs> ah, we're just taking a break, you lunatic! Joy! What the? That cage just came out of nowhere and trapped that brat! <laughs> Not so tough now, are ya? The cage electrocuted you. Ha <laughs> ha! Like my little trap. Huh? Dr. Eggman? Hey, you look funny. Don't you dare call me by that infernal... Hmm. I mean, I am Dr. Nega. And I have come to pay my... Respects to the great king of Mobius himself. You have? I mean, of course you have. <laughs> That's me, Scourge. King of Moabius. So what's your angle? Not that, uh, not that I, uh, I ain't great. But no one that ain't aligned with that blue idiot does anything out of generosity. So what's your story? Since you've asked, you see, it seems that a common acquaintance of ours is calling for the recruitment of others like himself to join his little convention in the Prime Dimension. Oh. You mean that weird ad I saw some time ago from Dr. Eggman? That's the one. I offered to, shall we say, 
Open the door for those such as yourself to join the convention. Meet some fans. Sign some autographs. Wreck a little havoc. Oh, far be it from me to ask a few villainous rogues to ruin Eggman's plans. But, ah, uh, I'm not someone to get in the way of such ideas. <laughs> for bad guys. How lame. A gathering for all the villains of the world. We should totally make one of our own. Oh, a brilliant suggestion, sir. Why, you could have others dress like you and present artwork. I wonder if anyone would dress like us. Why would anyone dress like you two losers? But where would you host it, sir? The lair? I have a better suggestion. Oh, great! It's the cosplay version of a recolor coming through another interdimensional portal. I am not! Hmm. I am Dr. Nega, and I am from an alternate future. I am here to offer you the opportunity to join our little convention in the other reality. Well, as delightful as that sounds, there's still the whole reality-destroying properties of two of us sharing the same dimension. Oh, that's not a problem. You see, the properties of this other reality are quite different. The universe won't implode from the presence of more than one of you. Oh, that's quite the plot convenient. Hmm, this convention idea is starting to sound most inviting. Quite so. And with two Eggmans in the same room, as well as my genius, we will be able to rule the multiverse! <laughs> does, does that mean there's another me? Of you? Don't be absurd. No universe would be dumb enough to create another you. Well, hey. now, shall we be off? Hold it, you buffoons. Ooh, Shadow! Have you come to join our convention? Having you is sure to make our popularity soar! <laughs> Don't be absurd. I'm not interested in your stupid glorified meetup group. I'm interested in wrecking the blue buffoon. Yes, well, who isn't? I'm going, and none of you are gonna stop me. Got a problem with that? No, no, we're good. Good. <laughs> Is this place? Welcome, Savok. What is the meaning of all this? Why have I been teleported to this strange black rock of land? I have brought you to the remains of my black comet. Follow me, and all will be revealed. Very well. Eggman has released a broadcast stating that he is inviting those that wish to serve his empire to come join his convention. Is that so? I am taking this opportunity to gather a number of those who are looking to infiltrate and extract the revenge on Eggman. And soon, the rest of the world. And you assume that I would want to participate? Indeed. You and several others. Who else did you have in mind? Another recruit of yours, Doom. And a SETI at that. I see you are aware of my kind. Let's just say that I know a lot of mysteries about this world. I have 
chosen the three of you because you have faced Eggman in his adversaries before. You know what you're up against. If Eggman is foolish enough to invite anyone to his empire, we must take full advantage of his miscalculation. Infinite and I are in agreement that while we'd rather have a revenge against Shadow, we'll set that goal aside long enough to destroy Eggman first. Yes, if we finish Eggman, then we go after Shadow next. Shadow means nothing to me, but if working together means taking out that wretched Eggman, then so be it. Then it is decided. We will have our revenge on Shadow after we take out the Eggman. I have gathered all the recruits I can, but I'd still say we could use more. I've already thought about that. That is why we're going to have a recruitment day. We will invite the general public to submit themselves to the Empire by bringing their best evil genius scheme to the table. The best ones will be recruited! If I may suggest, Father, this will also be a prime opportunity to judge the fan art that's been submitted to you. Oh, you're quite right, Sage. Yes, we will judge the art contest and have a very special prize for the winners. Well then, it sounds like you have quite the event planned. When will this recruitment day be? I'm still working on the details of when. Very good. Well, until then, I shall take my leave. Father, I have calculated the various risks associated with possible deception from potential recruits. Don't you worry, Sage. I'm no fool. I know they're all up to something, which is why I want to work with you on creating safeguards against such treachery. Yes, Father. Soon the others will learn what happens if they try to cross me. I really wish I could be in your world right now, Tails. I feel helpless being here while Eggman tries to take over the convention. I know, Shane. And we can't underestimate the idea that Eggman can somehow find a way to take over the convention despite being unable to cross the barrier between our worlds. You'll just have to be vigilant in your planning. Shadow, you're back! Oh, Shadow's back? Finally. Uh, what'd you find out? Keep in mind, this is typically Rouge's job, not mine. I know, but Rouge was on leave at the time I needed help. I know she's back now, but you're already on this. You've been part of security for the online convention hosted in your world, and this is a security matter. Which is why I am even doing this. Okay, 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 uh, so what'd you find out? Eggman is already assembling quite a few recruits, including ones from other realities apart from our own. Starline was practically first in line. Of course he was. But I also think Starline may be up to something. It must be better than Eggman, remember? It seems the Doctor is planning on having a recruitment day for the general public as well. Yeah, figures. Okay, Shane. I'm all done working on this floating monitor. I got the arms added to it and got it connected to the communication lines that connect your world to ours. Plug in your controller on your computer and run the program I sent you. If all goes well, 
You should be able to control the monitor with your controller. Oh, nice. It moves so smoothly. You said my web camera can project through the monitor? Yep. We can see you in your world through this. What is this? This is the best way for me to interact with your world, that's what. Now, what do you say about us infiltrating this recruitment day? Now then, where can I find that idiot Sonic? He's gotta be around here somewhere. I'll just round the corner of this building. Are you really so pathetic that you have nothing better to do than to fight Sonic? Hm. I should have known you'd be here. And I'm pathetic. You're a weakling, choosing friends like those equally pathetic teammates of yours. I need no one. I can wreck the blue buffoon with no restraints. This world can burn for all- And you're nothing but a schoolyard bully with an ego that's even worse than Sonic's. Now who's pathetic? If you weren't busy with your blustering, you'd have seen that coming. At least I'm strong enough to knock you out in one punch. You're easy enough to imitate. I'll just take your things and infiltrate the meeting. <laughs> 